Hi there traders, this is the third video in the spot trading course by the CSCAP trading terminal team. In this video we will be talking about Binance trading web terminal. I will show you what each model of the interface is responsible for, what information about the market can be found there, and in which model orders for sale and purchase are made. In the previous videos, we discussed the specifics of uh, spot trading, how to register on Binance, get verified, and deposit the account. Links to the previous videos will be in the description below this video. Don't forget to subscribe and ask your questions regarding spot trading in the comments under this video. So let's start to disassemble the trading interface designed for spot trading on Binance. We go to trade, spot, and here we have our interface. Let's discuss everything we see here. First of all, window for choosing a cryptocurrency pair. Above the window, there is a search bar for quickly selecting the design pair by ticker. For example, BNB, USDT or something else. It displays the ticker of the selected pair. This is the current price in USD and the change of the price within 24 hours. Here we see the graph of the selected pair. You can see the basic chart from the Binance, the chart from TradingView. There is more functional in fact. And the depth chart. The depth chart graphically represents the order book of the current market in real time, where the last traded price takes in the middle point. We will talk about the order book a little bit later. Let's switch to original graph. Then we should pay attention to time frames. Time frames are end periods in market analysis and trading. The chart is absolutely fractal. What does it mean? If we look at a one hour time frame, then in order to see it uh, in more detailed aspects, we switch to a lower time frame. For example, 15 minutes. We see absolutely the same graph, but in more details. The time of formation and closing of uh, one candle is always equal to the time frame. We have 15 minutes time frame and one candle will be forming within 15 minutes. In one hour time frame, each candle will be forming during one hour. You can also add technical indicator clicking on this tab. We can also track the history of orders. How to do this, we will consider in the next lesson. The chart can be expanded to full screen, like this, or we can switch to four charts simultaneously. We can choose different time frames on each chart. For example, one minute, 15 minutes, one hour, and four hours. It's quite simple. Another extremely important element is an exchange order book of a cryptocurrency pair. Limit buy and sell orders are placed here. Red zone for sale, green for purchase. Limit orders are orders to buy or sell which will be executed by market orders. For example, to make a one tick movement up for the price, market participants should execute the limit orders on the way of the price. In other words, market buyers should execute closest seller's limit orders for upward movement. To make the price go lower, the market sellers should execute the closest buyer limit orders. Reading the order book is one of the basic skills of a trader. However, here in Binance interface, we miss one important element, the tape. The tape shows us the current sales and purchases in real time market orders. However, we can view them in CISCAP trading terminal. Next element, module for orders. There are spot, cross 3x, isolated and grid. Spot is responsible for spot trading, cross 3x and isolated for margin trading and grid for trading through Binance bots. In this course, we are only interested in the spot tab. We will analyze margin trading in the next course. The model is divided into two parts for buying and for selling. Here we can select the type of order, limit, market and stop limit. 
We will analyze in detail the types of orders and how to place an order in the next lesson. Here you can see the connection quality. The quality of connection affects the ping. Ping in trading is the speed of order execution in milliseconds. The lower the ping, the higher the speed of execution. Very important indicator in scalp. In this tab, we can see the top movers. This tab is about all the instruments that show the extra high volatility within the last 24 hours. For example, the pair font BTC showed 30% decrease within the last 24 hours. Let's summarize the lesson. We dismantled the interface of Binance Spot Trading Interface. There is nothing difficult. If you get used, you will be extremely effective in your trading using all these interface elements. As you see, the interface is quite simple and consists of uh, the basic analytical instruments needed for your effective trading. However, the Binance interface is perfect for several uh, trades per week. The professional traders who trade on the exchange regularly use uh, trading terminals like Syscal because of faster inputs of trading data. Moreover, Trading terminal usually has a more convenient interface and the opportunity to use hotkeys for fast decision making. In the Syscalp, it's possible to manually adjust the order book to the current activity of the instrument. It's extremely important for trading. In the next video, we will show you how to make your first order on the spot market. There will be step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to buy and sell cryptocurrency through the Binance chart and through the model. We will also take a closer look to the types of order available on the spot market. Wish you good luck in your trading. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.